Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome to another stream of Sim Airport. Hi Frag B, how are you? Welcome to the stream. So, last time we built this little, uh, small little airport. Very basic stuff and uh, we went up all the way to getting an ATC tower, which means that we can now, um, theoretically, get some more flights. Um, so let's try and squeeze one or two of these little small ones in here. Should we try a 737? It feels really big. Anyway, it's too late now. We've got it already. Um, so if we do that, and we try and do this. See? How about that? I think that, that'll work. That'll help us out a little bit. See if that works. A little bit more see if that that helps us out okay I have no charging in my phone so buy no where's your phone charger <laughs> anyway good luck with that um, okay so now we at least have one extra flight we can probably squeeze in another one of these PM flights I don't want to do a, a a320 just yet maybe something like this yeah that's not too bad we'll accept that one Juno connect um, ooh. Uh, what I don't like at the moment is that they are actually um, not properly staggered. I think that's a, a lot better now. Now that's kind of the only um, overlapping one right there. Okay. Excellent. So what are we going to do today? Well, we're hopefully going to make a little bit of money. We're going to continue to expand the stuff and we're going to have a look at... Oh, we need to do some research. Let's uh, pop in some research ASAP. Technology gives us what? A CTO, which costs us money. Credit report. Construction gives us escalators and stuff. Let's grab construction first. Um, yeah, probably technology as well. I was thinking what we need to do is slowly expand this out a little bit. So that we can make room for some of the stuff that we need for the grants. So passenger experience, we've done that one. What we need to do now is build a functional kitchen and cafe. Get the overall pack satisfaction to at least 75. Which I believe we have. So, potentially, all we need to do is expand this a little bit. And then we'll get it there. So... Ooh, that is really, really pricey. So if we do, say, something like that, right? I think I'm going to spend it. We're going to use this space regardless. So I'll, I'll just spend it and we'll see where that goes. And then what I'll do is I'll probably extend a slither along here so we can add some more of these gates. Uh, but this area here is going to be what will be our cafe. Yeah, kitchen and cafe. We'll get some money for that. Ooh, can we select it? Aha! Got some money, got some money. Uh, are we paused? Why are we paused? It's the end of the day. No more flights coming in. Do we have this upgraded with lights? Runway lights. Thank you. How much did that cost? 25k? Does that mean we can now do evening flights? Not yet. Not yet. Maybe tomorrow. I would love to get evening flights, so come and build this actually as a priority, please. Do I... can I... Can I say that is a priority? Is there a way I'll do that? Hmm... Don't know, don't know! Can't remember. Okay, let's speed things along. Hopefully we can get that kind of sorted out before the day starts tomorrow. This guy seems to be... Going over here to start working on this. Very slowly, I might add. Um, so slowly, in fact. Oh, no, no, no. That's okay. We'll definitely get there. We will definitely get there in time. So it's a slow it's a slow build. Um, I'm not going to rush it too much. I'd rather get us to a place where we can actually make some money. Oh! I downloaded uh, Mountain Blade today. The Bannerlord Mountain Blade 2. I haven't played it yet. I've seen a few videos and I must say I am really excited to play that. So I think Saturday stream will be uh, a bit of Mountain Blade actually. Okay, now with that in place, can we now do... Oh man, we can now do evening flights. Let's slot in a few of these. Um, it's still small, so 
let's grab that one. Um, what else do we have? Aero time. Can we slot in a decent aero time? Yeah, absolutely. We'll grab those two. So aero time, please go in there. We're going to trim you back to say 90 minutes. Uh, WestJet will come in right after you and we'll trim that one down to 90 minutes as well. And maybe that'll be kind of the end of it, I think. Then we need a few other. A Ford Air. Uh, too big, I think. Well, let's be bold. Bold and brave. Bold. Bold. Let's be bold and brave and we'll slot it in there. We'll leave it as is and then we'll try one more smaller one somewhere. Uh, might be too small. I don't want a Beechcraft. That's like no people whatsoever. A320 too big. 737 too big. All 737s, huh? Anything smaller? Really? I'll have to go to Juno and, or I mean Lernival and get, ah, oh, there's one. I'll grab that one. The dash. Grab the dash. Come along, come along, come along. Uh, it'll go in there and we can trim it back. Like one, two, yeah, there we go. So there we go, nice and full. We don't have anything in this like early morning thingy, but that's fine. That's fine, we've got that built. Uh, over here, let's uh, dismantle this. This walled piece over here. Ooh. We'll dismantle that piece. We will wait for that to happen. We will put some nice green carpeting in here just to make sure that we... Um, which one is it actually? Is it is it is it D2? Uh, I believe so. Okay, there we go. Now, we need... Ooh, we potentially need... Um, a little bit more. We potentially need uh, walls again for the kitchen. But anyway, let's get the flooring in there. Things are moving along. How's our money situation? Oh, we'll see if we get... Oh, I'm sure we're going to have perfect ups bonus. Let's see where this thing goes at the midnight. Strike of midnight. Blah, blah, blah. Ooh, yeah, so it's... Uh, okay, let's go to yesterday. Day 5. Okay, so we spent 60. Government grants was a lot that came in. Ooh. Um, research, spent a lot on the research. Material, so yeah, building was costing us a fair bit actually. So if we subtract that and that, uh, so that's basically uh, uh, 20,000, 20, 22,000 worth over there. So it means that we're still losing a fair bit of money. Staff is really expensive. Why is that? We hired a CFO. Okay, that's a one time cost. Uh, the wages for the CFO is pretty pretty ridiculous as well. And then a fair bit on the workmen and security and so on. So probably overkilling it a little bit with the um, with the staff is what I think. Okay. Maybe if we open the kitchen and the cafe, um, our money situation will be a little bit more fortuitous. We will see. We will see that. Okay, airline happiness is kind of okay. Excellent, finish that off. Now, um, if we go with zones, we need a kitchen and a cafe. I'll do the kitchen over here in this corner, but we'll probably need to enclose it though. So what I'll do, um, I'm actually gonna, yeah, and it's just a little bit of a bummer, but anyway, I'll do that. I'll build it back in there. Uh, we will go ahead and zone this as a kitchen. Kitchen right over there. Slot it in there, and we'll need a bit of a door. Give us a door, please. I think sliding is, is a little bit more appropriate. We'll put it in there, and then the rest of this area will then become a cafe. We are actually doing the grants thing a little bit more intensively now. I think that is about right, because that means we can leave, we can effectively extend that area there, and that becomes whatever. Uh, minimum sized and it requires enclosed space excellent that is fine but it also requires a lot of other stuff so if we go here and we say kitchen does it tell me what it needs well ooh, that's not what I wanted to do eh, we definitely need a hot plate uh, actually let's start off with something like a sink one over there uh, kitchen storage one two uh, a bit of a pizza oven. Yeah, there we go, man. A refrigerator. One, two, over there. And then some hot plates. Um, 
Now uh, let's just do two like that. I think that's sufficient. Don't think we need anything else apart from that. Over here we need tons of stuff. Uh, fancy chairs, cafes, food coolers or warmers or drinks or machines or cash registers and and and. If we go here and say cafe, can we see that? Yeah, we do in fact have all the little bits and pieces that we need. So I will go ahead and grab the cashier over there. Just the one, I think it's going to be fine. Chilled food display. Um, yeah, absolutely like that. Hot food display, maybe on the other side. There we go. And I'm, I can never know whether this is a kind of do-it-yourself kind of thing or what is it. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll put the coffee machine over there like that and the drinks machine over here like that. And that should be sufficient. Then what we'll do is we'll grab maybe these tables. They look a little bit nicer. So let's just do uh, maybe something like, like that. Can we slot one in more in there? Yeah, that should be fine. We'll do these chairs. We'll do like uh, four on this one. Uh, um, something like this maybe. Okay, we'll get that built. Hopefully that does the thing. Excellent, people are arriving. We need to remember that we have pretty full time stuff. Can we manage this stuff automatically? I don't think so. Let's hire one, one of these guys. Yeah, I don't think we can manage it just yet. And then, of course, we're going to need a retail worker fairly quickly. We need some... I'll put some more bins and plants and stuff over here. Get all of that built. Um, I believe retail staff is what we need. Grab one. Excellent. Nice. There we go. Nice. Okay, give me some more plants and stuff. Let's grab over here objects. Um, plants. Something nice. Um, let's do this one. We'll do one over there. Uh, we'll slot one in that spot there and over there. Just so that it kind of maintains a nice little vibe. Then we're going to go with garbage. Garbage, garbage. Right over there, I think, is going to be the most appropriate spot. So come and work this spot. Oh, we need to assign it. Kitchen. What's going on? At least three prep cards are recommended for efficiency. We've got two. But missing prep. Oh, prep card. We don't have prep cards. Okay, hang on. We're gonna we're gonna sort that out. Prep cards. Ooh, cookers. Missed the cooker. We'll grab a cooker. And what we'll do is we'll slot in. Some of these guys over there. So that should be sufficient. Then we need to assign it over here. Thank you very much. There we go. Nice. Bring in the prep cards. All of this working. Are you on time? Absolutely on time. You should be on time too. Okay, how's our research doing? Going along swimmingly. And our money, not great, but not too bad. Okay, now, did we finish this one off? Uh, passenger satisfaction. Perfect. Now, build five stores and two first-class lounges. Whoa, that is ludicrous. Oops, I've accepted it already. Mm, not, not, not good. Not good. Um, okay. Airport efficiency maximizes profits. Okay, I'm gonna give that a little bit of a break. So what we'll do is we will try and slot in another one of these guys, and we'll see. Are we? in any way shape or form under any form of pressure over here we get the people through here fairly quickly we get them through there fairly quickly and we board them no problem whatsoever with like tons of time left so we could really go about adding a little bit more that's that's my view on it so if we say um grab a little bit more foundation just a tad i would suspect yeah, well, that's going to be more than sufficient. So let's start building that. We'll build that out and we'll get that extra um, stand over here or gate as they call it. And then from there on, we will we will go ahead and allow for some more flights to come in. That's going to be awesome. Come on, buddies. Finish that off. Um, baggage claim is something that I would like us to get to, whether we can build it straight away. Let's have a look. Do we need to... 
yeah, it seems like we can build it straight away. So I may as well start investigating. This is the big one, right? 737. So this will be, we will judge this one to see whether we can actually accommodate this. Well, we're, ooh, it's scheduled arrival was early and hang on, an hour. That is awesome. So we are quite comfortably even taking on bigger flights at the moment. Okay, so that's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go dismantle that piece of wall there. We're going to grab our flooring. Um, actually, get the dismantling done. Grab the flooring, pop in the flooring. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll oh, go ahead and grab the gate. To a small gate only. Flip it around. Ooh, it just about fits in there. Okay, slot it in, get it built. How much does it cost? 20k, not a problem for us at the moment. But we are seemingly running out of a little bit of money. Ooh, I wanted to have a look on the Perfect Ops bonus. Where is that going? Perfect Ops bonus, 4,000. So it'll be more and we're adding, we're going to add more flights as well. So we hope that we maintain a nice and good proper um, bonus there. Well, how much? 65 minutes left to spare. You are assuming you'll get out there as well. Yeah, perfect. Good on ya. Good on ya, mate. Uh, that's, that's my Aussie. That's the extent of my Aussie accent. We are finishing off construction over there. Then I'll move over to technology and we'll see how that goes from there. Can I click it? We'll see. Let's get it done first. I'm assuming. Okay. This requires a, a gate agent desk. Well, let's get the day going. Gate agent desk. We will slot it in there. Ooh, the one thing that I didn't quite get. Ah, that's fine. There's enough room there. Um, we need to get a bit of a door going on. We're just using this one, right? Yeah, absolutely. Now, get some utilities. We're going to grab the queuing. How did we do it? Something like that. Ooh, 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 back, forth. Like that like that and like so excellent and on this side ooh, it's a little tight um i believe we'll just do that okay nice now we'll do as we'll assign it ooh, before we do that go over here this is going to be a three thank you very much nice i like it uh we're going to assign this one over there we're going to assign this one over here for coach and we're going to assign it over here for first class and flight crew. For the load of flight crew. Perfect. Okay, excellent. So now that should be workable. Why? What is it? Is it? Is it saying there's an issue here? This is coach. No idea why why that went all wrong. But anyway, we figured it out. Now we need some. Ooh, we need one more staff member. Let's do it. Um, not that I think we actually need more, but anyway, that's okay. This is how the game works. Now, um, we need another plant. We'll grab it. And this one over there, we'll uh, kind of slot it in there and we'll need a little garbage bin. We are doing a good job here at maintaining um, a decent look in the airport. Okay, now we need some windows. We'll do it. We will run those windows all the way to there. Nice. So now this airport is coming along smoothly. Uh, the secure area over here into the cafe, all of that looking pretty good. Uh, okay. By the end of the day, actually, now we need to quickly go in there and schedule a few things. Now, we need to be mindful that we don't have tons of additional capacity. So what I thought I'd do is I'd accept one of these. A320s, so we actually get an A320 to come along. Uh, and we be mindful that that is a 737 and that is a 737. So I think if we do this one maybe somewhere over there, that'll be roughly well spaced. 
Is that a... What is that? That's a 737. That's a... Oh, that's an Embraer. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. It's 140, 150. That should be okay. As long as we can try and maintain smaller flights for the rest of it now. Well, that's the idea. I'm trying to do that. Whether that is really realistic. Oh, I'll pick up the Embraer. That's no problem. So, the Embraer... In my mind, needs to go in there. We'll slot it back by half an hour, something like that. Yeah, start the day with the Embraer over here. Anything else that we can pick up? Ooh, another Embraer? How much is that? 90 passengers. That's okay. We can deal with that. We can certainly deal with that. Let's slot that one in. Uh, we'll give it a half an hour in between and we will doop, doop, run it like that. The next one can be a morning flight as well and then just stretch across. It's kind of the idea, but I don't want Beechcraft. That's just too small. Any other Embraers potentially? Beechcraft, Beechcraft, Beechcraft. Anything here that's going to be of decent size without being too big? I know now we're going to start running into problems with uh, available aircraft and the likes. Ooh, that's an Embraer. Let's grab that one. And we will, in fact, slot it in straight away over there and we'll trim it back a little. Something like that should be, yeah, should be okay. It's a little, what do we have over here? Can we slot in a Beechcraft or something? Let's do that. Let's just grab one morning, morning Beechcraft somewhere over here. And what we'll do is that Embraer will have to move out. But this, this one we can, oh, we can't actually squeeze it any closer. Well, what we'll do is we will move these up a little bit. So we'll do a little, uh, something like that, huh? Uh, not quite. There we go. Something like that should be decent. Now we just need some evening flights, though. What can we grab over here that's of decent size without, like, kind of bombing, bombing all of our, um, our stuff? CRJ900, absolutely. I'm happy to grab that one. And a Ford Air, that's too big. Mm, maybe not, but maybe. Maybe not, but maybe. Um, anything here? Yeah, just the A320s. Anything down here? 737. Maybe we can get, actually, maybe in here, there's, there. Ah, ah, there'll be at least a couple of these guys. Did I pick up the right stuff? Uh, probably more than one, so let's grab the other one too. Nice, so there we go. Ooh, that might be too many. One too many. Um, okay, now let's um, trim that. And we'll trim that. We'll see how it goes. And we will... Oh, man, that's going to be perfect. And actually, what I would like us to do is actually trim that back. And we'll do something like that. Perfect. Now, we will have a full roster on A3 tomorrow which is exactly as efficient as we would like it to be. Um, so hopefully that means tons more, tons more um, flights coming in. Then, presumably we'll, have, we'll start making a little bit of cash because we didn't add that much more staff for all those additional flights. So I like it. I like it. Our evening flights are here now, so that's awesome as well. Yeah, so the idea is that we don't expand any of these kind of shared services over here. Ooh, what we do, however, need is maybe a couple of benches. I think that is just um, just the right thing to do is to grab some additional benches over here. We'll go in there, give it a slot to... Oh, absolutely, that's good. And maybe an additional vending machine. For some foods and snacks and the likes. Not that you need that, I would imagine, because we have. And then what I'll do is I'll grab an extra garbage bin just in case. So we'll just slot it in there. That should be sufficient space. Okay, excellent. Get this stuff in there. We may, I don't know, letting go of our workmen is going to be costly. And we're probably going to expand fairly aggressively as, as we make money. So probably good. To, uh, to just maintain it. Nice. Coming to the end of the day. I believe that was the last flight. 
Let's have a quick look. How did the day go by? Yeah, no problems whatsoever. I like it. Very good. Now, very slow out here in the evenings. Let's see at the end of the day. I'm assuming that's just going to tick down because we're not making any money in the evenings. Mm, almost midnight. 268. Go down to 260. Perfect. Okay, now let's have a look. How did perfect ops bonus? Ooh, that's starting to look a little bit better. 16 flights, no problems. Profit and loss statement for yesterday. Whew, a loss of 68,000 and a lot of that is, is materials. So what this means though, is that operationally we are covering our, our expenses. So if, as long as we're not building stuff, we should be okay. If we look at this, this is all kind of stuff that we built. Buy walls, buy foundations, all kinds of nonsense like that. So, and there's been two rounds of foundations here, I think. Oh, no, no. So maybe some of it not. Anyway, doesn't matter, but we are starting to look much more decent on this. We need to do some more research, though. Let's uh, grab technology. That's not too pricey. But then we're definitely gonna, going to start to make some money now. That is the idea. Once we get there, we will uh, we will continue to expand this, albeit um, on the slow side. Okay, kitchen staff busy, even though it's the middle of the night and there's no one here. This airport looks about as busy as a COVID-19 airport these days. In the evenings, I might add. In the day, it looks a little bit better because we are making a little bit of money. Okay, what's happening? We have to wait a couple more hours, but now at least today we'll have our first day with three full um, uh, full gates of schedule. So now the question will be, is our security and um, check-in staff going to be able to accommodate that? Um, as far at the moment, I don't see any problems. Uh, we'll see when the bigger planes come in. Not that big, by the way, but um, those bigger planes, the... The 150s and so on for the A320 is uh, could be a little bit problematic. I've tried to stagger them though, so we shouldn't see too much of a problem there. Now, oh, the cafe is actually quite busy. Can we see how much this cafe is doing? The kitchen overview is all good. Uh, we don't have crisps because we don't have a snack kiosk, which is something we can build out a little bit later. But we are doing avocado on toast. Wow, that is very... Um, yeah, very, very eclectic of us. And then some sushi and pizza and donuts. Nice. Um, da, 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 what did I want to check? Oh, I wanted to see how much money we potentially could be making. We could rename the zone. Ooh, zone evaluation. Size. Okay, so size is an issue. Environment. We could use environment a little bit better. Windows. It's wanting to need some ease of access from security. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, well, of course it is. Now, um, we are researching some stuff. I wanted to see maybe the profit and loss statement over here will actually tell me if I go to uh, yesterday and we'll go to retail food vending this is vending only anything else taxes is killing us to do, 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 do airline fees infrastructure not quite yet maybe maybe tomorrow well maybe the end of today the then we'll see I have a better idea because it looks like it's pretty popular nice queue over here now, our planes are coming in, one after the other. I want to keep an eye and see if we get them out in time. There's no queues over here. A little bit over there. I might try and assist that a little. Uh, with uh, almost 60 minutes to spare, you're done. Uh, you should be the same. And you, all uh, some embrace. You are, oh, 60 minutes to spare. 58 minutes, to be more precise. Oh, that one. 86 minutes to spare and you're out of here. Nice. I like it. That is awesome. The next round of playing should be arriving in just a jiffy. Our money situation is, I think, looking pretty good. Yeah, I would like us. To, I would like to get the um, the better baggage handling. I really would like to get that. Okay, that one is out. Sixty minutes to spare. We are really doing an awesome job here. But they do get here a little early as well, so they're like a half an hour early. This one should take, well, this is the, also another Embraer, so nothing too big. We have a 737 here that comes in in the mornings. 
uh, under A320 in the afternoon and then another 737 in the evening. Those are our biggest ones. Out of the way, let me have a look. 60 minutes to spare. That is like on track. Okay, we can slow. Okay, there's the 737. So that one will be, look at that, little Beechcraft. This one will be the telltale one to see it's got 140 passengers that needs to board. Okay, there's a bit of a queue happening over here now. Uh, this one's not going to get out of here in with an hour to spare. 30 minutes. Can we target 30 minutes? I don't think so. Oh, baggage is at least loaded. So yeah, I think 30 minutes is perfect. How much? Oh, oh, oh. 28 minutes. That's not bad. And luckily the Beechcraft is coming in at the same time. So yeah, we are pretty stretched when it comes to those big guys. Pretty stretch. Okay, in terms of the research, I am thinking CTO and then advanced security so that we can actually get these things to operate a little quicker. So let's hire ourselves, uh, manage admin staff, grab ourselves a CTO. Hello, buddies. That's a pretty pricey, um, pricey role player over there. And then we'll go ahead and as soon as you kind of join your office, we'll go with advanced security. That's pretty, pretty expensive. And then hopefully we can assign these so that there's a little less confusion about what's going on over there. More embrayers, they should be just fine. They're pretty tiny. Embrayers and bombardiers, dash eights. How much time that? Oh man, that is brilliant. The airport is looking pretty awesome and passengers are loving it, I must say. We are doing a good job here. 52 minutes, slightly dropping. This one is 55 minutes, slightly dropping. So our efficiency, we are struggling to get people through here a little bit um, more effectively. They are queuing a little bit, a little bit bigger. Uh, you know what we could do? If we say here, right, click that one. I don't think I've assigned it to both sides. So I'll do go ahead and assign it here as well. So that means that we should be able to get these queues um, cut down a little bit quicker now. Yeah, absolutely. The guy isn't just standing there doing nothing all the time. Now, Bombardier uh, Das 8 and another uh, Beechcraft. Here's the big boy, A320. How many disembarking over here? We don't know. Uh, it's only boarding 87. It's going to be a breeze. It is going to be a breeze. Now, I am keen to get to the end of the day so we can see how much money we are now making. I didn't build anything extra today because I do want to see how much we're making perfect ops bonuses and all those kind of things with just these three stands. I think it can be pretty lucrative. A small airport like this can be pretty lucrative um, in this game at least. If you don't try and stretch it too much too quickly. We obviously need to tidy up the area out here a little bit more. Got our little windows out there. Nice. These guys are complaining that they don't have windows. So, uh, pretty small stuff. That's, that's a bigger guy right over there. How many is going to board here? 72. That should be an easy board for us. Yeah, these queues aren't quite long enough to deal with the bigger flights. So... So I'm kind of tempted that we stick to maybe the four, maybe four small stands over here. And then what we do is we start working around here to do some of the bigger guys with another, all another runway to come in over here. That is, I think, the idea. But we'll speed it along. I still just want to see how we're doing by the end of this day. And you're out of here. Lots of time to spare. I think if I look at this, you can see nothing to worry about. And the rest of the flights today has almost no passengers and they're probably already ready there. Um, and it works quite well. Even, I mean, even with these guys sitting around at the cafe, they're so close to the gate. Shouldn't be a big deal. And I think this is the thing where I struggle a little bit with these games as the airports um, get really big. Then people are like using cafes out wherever they want to and it's just not working. 
I believe that's the end of the day and we've covered all of our flights and we should have perfect up bonus for everything. So I'm very keen to see where our money sits um, at the end of the day. Doo, doo, doo. And midnight. Okay, we didn't really lose much more money today, but let's have a look at our operations for yesterday. Hmm, where did our money go? Wow, 45,000 for research. Two technologies that uh, ultimately is costing us a lot of money. If it wasn't for that, we would have been making a little bit of money. There's a fair bit of taxes on land value. And I believe I've read somewhere that because we started with a bigger uh, block um, from the start, we are paying more tax from the start. Oh, excuse me, the improvements on the other hand is um, is not too much and we don't seem to have any income tax. Yeah, well, because we didn't make any income. So this is the other strategy that you can uh, that you can use. If you see you're going to make a bit of a profit, just spend more of that money on the airport so that you don't and then don't pay taxes. Yeah, or not as much is the is the idea. The other thing I wanted to check was the retail. So. Retail income is 6,696, 6, which is pretty much the same as we're getting from all the vending machines. Though, inventory is very, 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 very pricey. But ultimately, all in all, we are making some money out of retail. Airline fees and the likes. So that's okay. That is okay. Ooh, the staff is really pricey. Oh, the other thing that we got is we hired a CTO, which of course is a one-time very, very expensive fee. Um, but yeah, we will need to be careful a little bit with these admin staff members. Now, can we afford to expand a little bit more? I believe we probably should. Mm, though I think we'll need to streamline security first. I think this side is pretty okay. Let's grab ourselves another kiosk, ticketing kiosks, and we'll grab uh, one, two, three more over here. Maybe that'll help things out just a tad. I think that's uh, that's going to be helpful. So get that built. Not going to cost us any additional staff members, so I'm happy to do that, and that might ease the burden a little bit if things start coming coming across here. And then we should, oh, yeah, absolutely. It goes through there very, very quickly. Hopefully we'll get this research done now so that we can assign these things into an, a more efficient little work, uh, little process. But yeah, it is working really well. The guys that's arriving, yeah, it's a little bit more arriving now, um, but they get through really quickly. No big delays, no big queues. They get through there quickly. The extra kiosks I think was helpful. They're not all used all the time, but I think it was useful to kind of manage that peak demand of everybody arriving at the same time. Because that seems to be a constant problem, really. Okay, we are probably spending more money than we're making. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and what I'll do is I will go with... Mm, no, let's stick to what we've got at the moment. I'm very tempted to get another gate. Oh, hang on, I wanted to check. Ooh, 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 the perfect ops bonus. Where is that going? Uh, perfect ops bonus, 16,824 flights. So we are really scaling up pretty quickly. We went from 10 flights to 16 flights to 24 flights. So we are really, um, I would say, exponentially growing. But it, it, we can't sustain that. We just can't sustain that. What can we do in terms of settings and stuff? Commercial pricing? I don't think I want to mess with that. The airlines are already kind of lukewarm towards me. Runways, we've got the one. Field service is not actually happening at the moment. Maintenance? Yeah, scheduled, I believe, with the forecast. Gate control? What is this? COO office is required. Okay, our research is almost done here. But yeah, we do need to see a little bit more money in order to to really get into things. That's going to be the issue, really. Do, do, do. Here we go. That's a bigger guy. 737. 
lots of people leaving and only 81 boarding that's okay that makes uh, it a little a little bit less pressure than would have been otherwise expected on our facilities and infrastructure Here we go, flights going out. How much time? Oh man, 71 minutes to spare. Uh, potentially, I think we can now go ahead and maybe look into the expansion just a tad. Because if, if, if we can run the big boys on like a 60 to 70 minutes. Um, oh, but we do need to bear, bear in mind that we are maintaining a bigger slot for, for those bigger bigger aircraft. But that's fine. That is fine. I believe there's now fire in the game. Um, so incidents or something, fire. Don't quite know how we deal with it. Is there something that we need to... Ooh, let's have a look. Fire, extinguisher, underground fuel, fuel tank, display ad. Oh man, get me a display ad. Um, and to be honest, I think that spot right over there is where it's at. So these guys will have to like funnel around it. That's going to be awesome. That's just the way airports do it. Yeah. Display ads. Nice. The other option is to also put a display ad. Where does that guy actually exit? Not too sure. A display ad somewhere over here maybe. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, but they are pretty pricey, right? Display add yeah not that pricey though let's add another one in there should be fine it'll be fine that's a bigger plane the queue is okay are we dealing with it yeah it's gonna be fine she'll be right mate ooh, 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 stuck but leaving right and with 15 minutes to spare so stuck was some kind of a thing that's didn't end, up, didn't end up being a thing. Okay, let's grab another gate over here. Uh, gate, 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 gate it. Small. We'll slot it in there. Um, I'll go with some walls. Uh, actually, foundation is what I'm after. And we'll extend that one all the way over there. That's another 91. That's okay. We should be able to deal with that. And I think that's about a holding point for this until we really get the profits in there. Unless we can do a bank loan, credit credit report. Ooh, credit reporting. But, oh, bank loans, here they go. So we can actually add a bank loan. So if we wanted to speed things along a little bit. Okay, that is an option. It is an option. I'm not going to lie, it's an option. A pretty appealing one, to be honest. Um, let's uh, get this to be A4. Yeah, that's excellent. That's the right thing to do. I'll redo the queue over here once this is open. And I hope there's enough room for the appropriate queue on that side. And I'm kind of wondering whether we open this area up to feed into that side, but we can keep that section closed. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah, you need some desks and stuff. That's fine gate desks seems to be working okay now let's uh, dismantle some walls here Ooh, dismantle and rip that out we're at the end of the day nice so tomorrow can we can we get this done okay well, hang, on, hang on hang on give me a gate can we schedule already we can so that should be fine that should be fine. Let's uh, let's see what we can schedule in here. Well, uh, beach is too small. I don't like beach crafts because they just don't they don't bring in enough money. Then we've got some seven three sevens which we could probably um, consider, but maybe not all of them. But that's all that's pretty much available at the moment. And a three twenty, all very similar. And then we've got beach craft. So I'm not going with beach craft. So let's go over here. I'm gonna. What we'll do instead, we'll slot in two of the A3s of, of these guys. And what I'll do is I'll bring it in over there and over there. Okay, so that's kind of going to be a little bit less aggressive in terms of um, the slots. 
There is only Beechcraft over there. What can we pick up over here? We'll pick up another 737 from Atlantic that we can... Yeah, actually, that one can slot in right over there. That is pretty good. And anything else? Oh, 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 737. So it's going to be all 737. So this is a pretty risky operation for us, I um, should say. Now, evening flights, A320s we can do. It's really, uh, doesn't really matter if we do A320s or, or, or whatever, 737. So let's grab a 737 over there for a Ford Air. We'll slot it in right there. Ooh, yeah, that's okay. It's still not the end of the world. And what we'll do is we'll end off the day, maybe not Union. What else are we doing here? Lernyville Atlantic. Atlantic? Where do I find you? Ooh, nothing. Lernyville, no. Uh, Union Air. Well, it just has to be. Let's grab a Union Air flight then. And we will go ahead and slot that one in there. And that's kind of what our next flight's going to look like. So at least it's scheduled. Now what we'll do is we'll grab a gate. Our money is still looking pretty decent. Uh, we'll do that in there. We'll grab ourselves a door over there. We'll slot it in. I'm going to grab the utilities, um, actually the queues, not the utilities. And what we'll say is, uh, exactly, it's this. That's about right. Right. Um, and this one goes in like so. Nice. I like it. Now, get all of that built. Thank you very much. Grab me the, the floors. We do the nice green green carpets over there actually we should probably slot them in under the doors as well just so that we're a little bit more consistent I believe our bathrooms and the like should be fine okay get that built then we'll move on to windows and all the other bits and pieces moving along quite nicely oh I wanted to check the um, the profit and loss for yesterday Yeah, we're spending way more money than we're actually making. <laughs> yeah, retail is costing us money at the moment, which was my worry. Uh, advertising fees, yeah, little bits, little bits of pieces. We paid a little bit of tax, which is okay. Airline fees and the likes are starting to come up a little bit. We didn't hire any new staff, did we? No, but the staff is pretty expensive. Now, Perfect Ops bonuses up to about 20k now. That's good. Let's get some extra research going. Ooh, Advanced Security. I need to set up that, that thing there. Uh, we need another office as well. Uh, credit reporting, finance VPs. They're all getting pretty expensive now. Gate control, COO. COO and uh, construction foreman is what I'm after. So let's grab credit reporting. Do your thing over here and then we'll go ahead and build another office. But I think we're doing a decent job and I believe we should be able to cover this. This would be really be the... Um, this will, will absolutely be be the limit uh, to what we can do with this security arrangement if this one works we may have to slot in an extra uh, extra screening point there because uh, also bear in mind that the new flights that we've got here are pretty big uh, we need oh I still need to build the office but what we'll do is we'll add an extra one of these guys thank you oh I need to pay for that yeah yeah but now our cash flow is getting really low we're struggling a little uh, we are struggling a little. Nice. Okay, now we will say you need to be assigned over there. Thank you. And you'll be assigned over here. And you'll be assigned over there. Nice, close. There we go. There we go. There we go. Fine. Now, what we need here is also a bit of a plant. I wanted to redo that other, other one as well. So we'll grab a plant, we'll slot it in there, we'll grab a garbage bin, garbage bin, we'll slot it in there. Uh, I don't think we need yet another vending machine, uh, but we do need some benches, so grab some benches. Okay, we'll slot that in there and in there. Hopefully that is 
oops not what I want what I'm after can I cancel that yeah thank you very much and we'll slot that one in there potentially there's now room for something over here but we'll leave it as is for now okay queues quickly let's um let's redo the queue setup just so that we do our thing can we dismantle this and dismantle that please and we'll move those along a little Okay, uh, the other bit we needed was an office, so let's do a little bit more foundation over here. Yep, there we go. Please build that for us. Oh, that was that worked really well. Uh, plant. Right, that. And garbage bin. There we go. Nice. Oh, and the last thing we need over here is some windows. We are keeping this thing uh, nice and tidy as we go along, actually. Nice. People are already queuing over here. What's going on? What's wrong? One or more assigned gate desk must have a designated... F Ooh, my bad. My bad. Um, sorry, guys. That's, that's the one. No need to worry too much about that. That you should be fine. Excellent. Excellent, you're fine. You're fine. Um, oh, ooh, 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 ooh. I believe I can now assign these things. Um, so if I say, go ahead and assign to there. And this one, assign to there. Nice. So what I actually need to do is I need to hit, hit this one up and say, assign there and assign there. And I need to hit this one up and say assign there and assign there. And hopefully that is going to cause more efficiency. But yeah, that queue is starting to get a little bit aggressive. Can we see? So 75 minutes. I think that should be fine. Uh, that one. This one is pretty big though. 84. Uh, 90 minutes left. That's okay. I think we'll be fine. Ooh. Ooh, this is this is starting to be highlight my passengers ooh, 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 run run Whew. that was close that was really really close one more passenger where are you at nice okay we're gonna get you out of there okay we are pretty much on the limits of what it seems we can do um, with the um, with uh, with it with with our setup over here oh we finished this piece off so let's um oh then, then there's that's gonna finish as well let's what did i want to do i wanted to check gate control let's look at that so let's hire a coo once we get this office up and running oh i don't have any flooring in there i think anyway that doesn't matter these offices are for diehard employees only um office do that grab a door no not a door a door uh, we'll slot it in there we're gonna grab ourselves an office desk and an office chair something like that and something like this and then once that's why oh i think it's probably that door let's uh, let's just get these things built and then we'll see where that's at can you move through there fairly quickly? Who's uh, anybody waiting too much? Where are your passengers? Ooh, that. That is a bummer. You can get there through there pretty quickly. Ooh, get to your flight. Get to your flight. Ah! I, think, I think we got it. I think we got it. No, we didn't. I think we're going to miss that perfect jobs. Even though I believe that should be. So So really what's going to happen is we're going to need to to get uh, expand this operation a little bit. But I, I believe as it is, it shall shall deal. It shall deal. Um, I don't know what's going on with the office. Let's quickly redo that little zone there. Um, none. Thank you. Okay, that's fine. Now let's put that office back. Blah, blah. why why are you why are you doing that it's just weird it weirds me out that it does that anyway we're going to hire a coo admin staff coo please hire thank you cost us billions 
to do that, okay? But with the COO in place, well, once it's... I hate that. That label is going to kill me. Gate control is something that I would like to see what how that works and what it does. I believe that's new. Got a lot of stuff around here. Anything else not making our time? Should be fine. What's going on? Why, what are you saying? Back scanner requires repair that cannot be completed. Build a valid maintenance zone. Ooh. Maintenance zone to allow stuff to happen. Uh, maintenance zone, I can kind of slot outside here, I believe. It used to be the case. So let's, uh, if I do, kind of just do, do that, right? See, all of these wordings are going to be a little funny now. And then I believe it's a tool shelf or toolbox locker. And then we'll just do kind of that. And that should be fine. Eventually, we'll move that into the airport somewhere, but it should be fine. Okay, guys, down to the last five minutes of the stream. I think we've made a little bit of progress today, at least. What's missing? Minimums? Oh. It's outside. You may as well accept that it has a minimum size availability. There we go. So now you should be fine. Nice. Got the toolboxes so you can do the maintenance thing. Kind of worried about some of this stuff. How did these things go? Everything worked out well apart from that one flight. That was practically on time. But yeah, we should probably add a little, a little bit extra over here. But yeah, really, this is now, I think, the, the kind of extent that we can do here. But, but an extra one here wouldn't be, wouldn't be the end of the world. Let's just, say, let's just say that. Could be quite helpful to get one more in there. But we are now pr probably running fairly efficiently. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Uh, ooh, um, we will miss it. We'll miss the uh, perfect ops bonus, though. Uh, can we have a quick look at yesterday's performance? Uh, no, not not bank loans, credit reports for yesterday. Retail, yeah, yeah. Oh, we did look at that. Retail was uh, was not was was not great. Do we have? I don't know what what kind of flooring we have over here. A little freak. Yeah, I don't like these labels. And this is new. The new stuff that we've labeled is doing that. Uh, these are not, but they are pretty small labels anyway. Now, this area is working out pretty efficiently. I should probably let it run a little bit so we get a bit of cash um, and get that, uh, that, that bonus up and running a little bit. Maybe that's something that we'll do in between episodes. Uh, let's extend this. This is going to be a problem. So let's quickly add the extra bag scanner. Bag scanner. Thank you very much. Ooh, where do I want it? Needs to be over there. Um, then we'll do the ID check stand. ID check stand will be over here. We'll get the metal detector. Um, and that'll be... L Ooh. Is that fine? Mm, looks okay. We'll do that. Uh, then we'll just move... Yeah, get those, get those up and running. We'll need three additional security guards for that. So it gets a little extreme to do that. Do, 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 do. Okay, so three additional security guards, please. Manage my staff. One, two, three. Add that to the mix. Uh, what we'll do is we'll immediately assign this one over there um, and what will oh and 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 over here thank you and we'll come over here uh, I think tab yeah tab and we'll go and unassign that side the other thing we need to do is we'll close that and we'll say assign there and there nice so now that should be all up and running. Can I close all of that? Yes, excellent. Should be all up and running. Where's my security staff? Come on, buddies. Open this up. Yep, there we go. So now things should be a little more efficient. Ooh, people missing flights over there. Mm, hopefully we've done enough now to sort it out. 
to get our security through there. I'm really hoping it's the case. Okay, people are actually stopping in front of this thing. Look at that. Can we slow that down? Yeah, 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 look at that. Look at that. Checking it out, checking it out. I like it. Woo, too many people. Too many people. Okay, guys, thank you. That's going to be the stream for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, if you've liked it um, on the YouTubes and so on, please hit that like button. Um, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this kind of stuff. And see us in the Discord. The link is in the description down below. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.